Okay, we are live. Hello, everybody. Try not to talk too loudly. I'm um, just going to try and... Oh, there we go. Come on, make your wakey. Okie doke. There we are. We are live. Let's go into this one. Yay, it worked. I'm just trialing something different. Hello, Janice, how are you? All right, I'm just... Right. How are y'all? How are you, Janice? How's it up in Rocky? It's um cool here. It's a little cooler. Not as nowhere nearly as hot as it was on Saturday night. So it's a little cooler. Um definitely cooled off. I know a lot of times Rocky gets cooler before we do, so I don't know. Um just you and me, Janice. Just appears to be just you and me. Oh, hello, Dee. How are you? I saw Dee, you were shopping in the retreat group. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but usually I don't get notified when people shop in retreat groups. But, yep, it was binging this morning just before. I'm like, what is going on? So, yep. Somehow, the things I want to be notified for, I don't get notified for. But the things that I go, oh, I don't really want to know every, all that. Um, yeah, I'm getting those. But, yeah. Hello, Beth. How are you? Hello, Beryl. Okay. So, let's let's make a start. So, um, I had to chase Madeline off my chair so I could teach my class. I was doing everything standing up. And then I said to her, you really need to vacate. You need to go. She's protesting over on the doormat near the back door here in the studio. She's, um, yeah, she wasn't very happy about having to vacate my chair. I don't know why. Mine's like a leather chair. And it must be leather because it's not, I've had it for years, so it must be leather actually. And and there's other, all the other executive chairs in the room like the other three are all like we've got the army fancy chairs um they're all second hand they were mostly second hand they've all got fabric seats so i don't know why she wants to sit on the leather one just to annoy me so i thought i should get in quick with the shopping yes especially if you want it sent with your retreat kit i need to put that in there that if they want them sent with the retreat kit they need to get in quick Okay, so I'm going to do a quick run through on what we did on Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. It was only meant to be two nights and it ended up being three. Holy dooly. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put the link up to the videos. I'm trying to be organised. Oh, look at that. So that's there. And I'm going to go, hello, Helen. Helen's over on YouTube. How are you today, Helen? Enter. No, it's not enter there. It's let's press that button. Oh no, I've got too many words. So I'm going to get rid of that. Got to. You can only put so much in a comment. There we go. So I've put that in. There we go. I've put the link to the videos. The three videos are there in the link. Right here. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Hello, Lee. Hello, Jacqueline. Oh, Lee. Hello, Tash. At least I know you'll be at all my classes this week, Lee. Poor thing. Poor Rory. Um, at least he gets a week off for his birthday. Chillaxing at home. Now he's a teenager. Poor bugger. You'll be I suppose you'll be working from home, so you they'll expect you to do work instead of um just scrapbooking all week. Hello, Kathy. How are you? 
Um, so this is what we did on Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. So we've made this um, pretty cool interactive double layout. And this has got 10 photos, this little accordion book. So, and I even go through in the Sunday night on the third video, I do go through how to cut the page protectors. I've got it out of the page protectors now because it doesn't photograph well on the page protectors. So um, even go through how to cut your page protectors and then that comes out and this goes here and here. There are magnets. Magnets mostly hold, like the magnets holding that there now, the magnets aren't a super hold, but they are there to hold it when it's in the album and it's like this in the page protector. It does mean that it doesn't want to open up so much. Um, but there are limitations to magnets. It's fairly thick, but there are 46 photos. But I, I'm going to say, so I've got 46 photos. You put another small one there. You could have put three, six, nine smaller photos. You could put two photos here, like I did two photos here and here. Um, and here you could have put more. In here you could have put more. You could have put two photos there. So you could put definitely way more photos in here. You could put two there. Could have put four there or three. So you could definitely put more photos in it than what I did. Uh, but 46 is what I got into it onto the layout. Rightio. So we are using Runaway Princess this week. And I sort of have a bit of a goal with this of what I want to achieve. Whether I'm going to achieve it or not is another thing. Okay, I do have a question. Okay, well, let's go back. Hello, Bronnie and Tanya. He is building Lego. No, not working. Awesomely. Well, get to scrapbook. Just put your feet up. Do something for you. Just, yeah. Oh, thank you, Dee. It was pretty amazing. I was pretty amazed at it by the end my interactive layout um yeah lee just relax have a chillax around for the week so i do have a question the vellum fussy cut sheet for this week is so it was a half sheet obviously it'll be a4 is anyone interested in that as a product I just need to know before i go and print a million we'll get a million done and then People who don't want them and I've gone, mm, bugger. What do you know? So I've got love, the same word, in two different sizes. So obviously scrapbook page card, scrapbook page card. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to take, and I've there is a piece of Dreamland in here. And I'm going to say, you can smell the ink on this. I can. I'm really sensitive to smell, just so you know. Um, I wanted to take Runaway Princess and show you how to make it not so dark. So a lot of a lot of times when we use Runaway Princess, you know, we get the moody girls and we do the gothic windows and we make it really dark and you know, dark and moody or, you know, goth. Um, we've all got a bit of that in us, uh, a bit of gothic. Um, but I wanted to sort of make it a bit light, lighter in area. I wanted to make it sort of try and show that it can be pretty. I don't know if I'm going to achieve that. I just don't know if I'm going to achieve pretty with this. We'll give it our best shot. Uh, yes, please, for the vellum. And yes, thank you, Dee. Thank you. Oh, and Helen said she's very well, thank you, over on um, YouTube. That's awesome, Helen. I'm going to say, so a lot of people find when they travel, like when they're glamping or camping or caravanning or whatever, whatever it is you choose to do, uh, when you hit the road, that they find YouTube works better. For streaming. I don't know. Um, so 
we've got a lot of paper. We've got four full sheets. I've got the frame from paper number five from Fussy Cutting. I did make sure I fussy cut the right thing this week. I probably need to go back and change the what to fussy cut picture for last week because I mucked up and I fussy cut the wrong thing. I was exhausted by Monday afternoon or Monday evening when I got home and um, did my fussy cutting. So Quentin found that, oh, and we've taken it back to work, that advert from the first Mother's Day that we, that we had the store open. So um, it was a full-page ad in The Observer, I, which was a local newspaper. I dread to think how much that cost me even back then. I know I got conned. I got bullied into it by someone, by a salesperson from The, from the Observer. Um, I did make a complaint later because I knew I'd been bullied and I felt bullied. But I don't know if we actually called it bullying then. I think um, I think we called it manipulated. Um, can we buy the extra kit for the retreat if we aren't doing the retreat for Saturday and Sunday night? Those kits will come out, Lee, for... Mm, we haven't done before, but those kits will come out for the on that weekend. We will release those kits. We do release them on the weekend of the retreat. Um, we do sell kits after it or at that weekend, if that helps. Hello, Diane. Um, yes, I find it better results with YouTube. There you go. So Helen finds better results with YouTube when she travels. I think Helen is travelling right now from memory. Helen, are you the Helen that's travelling right now? I think you are. So I thought we'd make a Mother's Day card or something you could use as a Mother's, Mother's Day card, but I thought we would do a bit of a blast from the past. So... I, oh, I need to get rid of that because I've done that now. Don't save that. It's just so I had the, the links for the video. So I'm going to put this up. So in 2015, early 2015, when I let my last employee go, um, she was teaching my card making class, the card making classes in my store. So... Word got around pretty quick, like less than 24 hours, that there would be no more, and it didn't come from me, that we'd no more card making classes in my store because I couldn't make cards. Well, I did make cards at the time because I used to run a card club. But so what I did was like it wasn't even the 24 hours, but it was within hours I had to come up with a um I thought, oh, I can't miss a week of card making classes because the ladies will lynch me. So I did card making classes, much to some people's disgust. But, you know, my card making classes are my card making classes, not what other people teach, I suppose. So this was the fourth week. And obviously, it's a case of collection. And I can't remember what it was called. It was like a birthday party thing. But. This was the fourth week of classes, and it's a side step card. We're not going to make the balloon one. Um, we did the two cards in class, and it, you know, it takes a while. But we're going to make, but we're not going to make a first birthday because that's a one on there to make a first birthday. But I thought I would show you. I don't know if we've made a side step card in class yet from videos. But I thought, oh, hello, Yvonne. Yvonne's watching on YouTube as well. Um, I thought we'd make a sidestep Mother's Day card kind of along the same lines as that one to show you that you can take something that looks like this and make it into something that looks like that. Um, bit sad. It's my last live card class. Apparently you actually have to go to work to get paid. Oh, Marlene. Oh. You're a card maker and you like those. Awesome, Tanya. I'm glad. Oh, Marlene. We will miss you. You can watch later, but it's not. 
it's nice having people here live. I dread the day that no one turns up to class. So we've got a half sheet of white here. So this is a 6 by 12 piece. So we're going to use that as our base. And then we might need some of that. We might need some of that. I think we might need some pink, but I really want to use this on my page tomorrow. I really want to use my pink as my pop colour. So let's put this across here. So what size piece would I need? I was going to make a... Let's give myself, I'm going to give myself a decent piece. So let's, from this piece of Dreamland number one, let's cut a... That's enough to make something quick. Let's cut a ten and a half by ten and a half inch piece. Let's put that aside. So, got a bit that goes that way and a bit that goes that way. So that might work. So let's make our base. Oh, and it's strobing because we've got, I'm just going to turn the lights off momentarily. It's going to get a little dark for a moment. Um, I think, I don't know what it is. I think it's when there's too much white. When, Oh my gosh, I've just noticed there's drink bottle lids in my in my in my lighting rig. He's foam tape drink bottle lids in here. <laughs> oh dear. Um so we need a scoreboard. I'm gonna get a raw and a pencil. Pencil. And we're gonna go really lightly, softly, softly with our pencil. So on our piece, so it's six inches by 12 inches, we're going to come in two inches from this right-hand edge. Now this is how I do it. And I probably don't do it the same as everybody else because I'm a little mathematical. Just a little. I like numbers. I like circles and I like grids and my name's Elisa. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently, I'm going to make a bit of a mark just in this bottom half, just very lightly in this bottom like two and a half inches here. Then I'm going to get my scoreboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score at one inches, one inch, one inches, one inch, but I'm only going to come down to my little line I drew two inches in from this edge. So I'm going to come along and then at two inches I'm going to do the same. And at six I'm going to go the whole way across because that's our halfway point, that's our fold point. So I've got one and two, and they're only to this line that I've drawn, that I've put in, that's two inches in from this edge. Obviously our Mother's Day card is going to have the word love on it. So now what we need to do is get our cutting mat. One of the little feet came off it on the weekend and got stuck to something. Just the little feet, when I slide it in and out of the thing, and it gets hot here, the little feet sort of come off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut, but we're not cutting the whole way through. We're only cutting from this point here so from this point here, where our first one inch meets our two inch, to the fold up here. 
So we're cutting from this point to this point. And I'm going to put my ruler on the two inch piece because it kind of becomes a bit of a, a bit of a standout piece. Okay, so I always make sure that my mark that I'm cutting to here, my end point, is on a sort of a distinguished thing, like on a mark. I go, okay, so it's on, so it's at the seven and a half point. So I know that I'm only cutting the, the seven and a half point. If it's in no man's land, I can sort of, cut past it I get a little excited sometimes and go too far do you know what I mean so see how I cut in several chomps I don't cut the whole way through in one one go and I've actually cut through the fold so that when we fold this it actually is not going to um, tear just there. You need to cut right through that, that groove, that little valley made by your score tool to make sure that it um, doesn't get a little tear just there. And I'll just make sure I've done the same here. I've got one layer but not three layers. I'll not cut through the whole thing. There we go. So I would then erase the pencil marks before I fold it because I find that once I've folded it, it gets really hard to get the pencil marks out. Sorry, I've got the lights off. It just turned up, but that's because I must have some setting in the phone where it's trying to focus with white. I need to get something going with that. Either that or one of my lights is dying. Okay, so when I erase the pencil lines, I actually follow the cut line because I find that it gives me a whole lot better result. Because if I go across, it goes foofy and it rips. Put my mark on the card still there already. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get something so make sure it folds so when you score you still need to make sure it's straight when you get your crease right because you, you've got leeway you've got leeway because it's the width of your scoring tool is what you've scored so you've got that width as leeway and that's when you can end up with crooked business. We know we don't want crooked. See, we've already made it crooked. So we've got there. And this one's a mountain and this one's a valley. I just need to manipulate it. Just making sure this lines up nice. We just we still want it to look nice. And then oh. right. Do you know what I've done? I've made a mistake. I'm so busy thinking what I'm doing. I missed a score. Right, yeah. Let's get our scoreboard back.
So we're going to score this at five inches, but only on the two inch piece. And then we're going to cut something off. Okay. So interesting concept here. Let's move this across to the, so I have a pencil line on my center line, my six inch center line. So I'm going to move this across to my seven inch mark so that I know exactly where I'm scoring. I could turn it around. And then I need to trim a piece off my card. So my card then needs to be trimmed at 10 inches. Yep, I did that. I'm not thinking. So now what we need to do, so your card should finish like this. And if we trim it to 10 inches. So we've got this card here. Now we're going to trim it at 10 inches because I'm the doofus. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Yep. Heavens be. Radio. Let's get a piece of paper and put it here so we can turn the lights back on. Radio. Um, be hard after three months tell them you can't work Tuesday mornings I noticed that the things were changing in Tasmania this week Marlene uh, yeah exactly I like without the light on oh okay see so like a um been for a walk hello Pam hello Marie oh no worries about running late oh Debbie's over there as well your lights are fine just a little shadow from your arm okay Thank you, Yvonne. Um, hello, Debbie. Yeah, don't worry about being late. So we've got this here so it doesn't strobe. I thought the brown messy mat would make a difference. And you've already seen me make a mistake. I'm having a good day. Hasn't a bad day. Has a bad dream. Yep. Having a bad day. Um, so, yeah. Here's what it is. See, I do make mistakes all of the time. Right. Okay. I just need to regroup for a moment now that I've, you know, completely fluffed up the class. Okay. So let's have a look. So we've got this piece here and we know it's... Oh, I can't sort straight. It, we've got a little bit of a thing down here, but it should be right. We'll live with it. Um, so we know that this is a five by two. And I can see the back card at the back here. So I'm just going to... There's nothing I can do about that. We're going to fix that at the end. So this is a 5 by 2 And then this one is a 4 by um, 4 by 4 This one in here. And then this is 1 inch by 4 inches. Right? And at the end, we're going to trim a tiny bit off our card. Cause... Yeah. So this shouldn't be scored here. Yeah. 
got, I'm just going to say, the guy across the road's a bitter and he's just had, he's had RACQ come out to his car. He's got two cars in his backyard. One goes and one probably doesn't. And he got RACQ to bring him a battery instead of ducking out and getting a battery himself. I'm really sorry, but... And he's a fitter. Okay. Sorry, I've got myself into a bit of a state. Okay. So, what have we got here? So let's work out what we're going to put where. So what if we do that there and there? And then we use a bit of this running this way because there's script on here, down the bottom here. Right, we'll put a bit of that down there. And then in here, let's put... Let's put this pretty blue colour up here. This bit here. And then we can leave this portion here for our class tomorrow night. And then we'll put a little bit more of this sort of here. And then we'll put our love word and some flowers. Let's do that. Yes, let's. So this piece here is five by two. So we want a piece that's four and three quarters. And this is dreamland number one. So we want a four and three quarter by one and three quarter. Ooh, holy dooly. And then this piece that's got the words going across. So we've got one that the words are going this way and one the words are going this way. So this one that the words are going across, let's do a four and a half. Whoops, have that open. That would be better. By one and a half. And I think it is one and a half. Yep, it is. So that'll go on there. The words the right way up. We'll put that on there. And then along the front here. Mm. So we need a piece that's three quarters an inch wide by three and three quarters. So let's cut three and three quarters. Now let's, let's sneak here. So let's cut this at two inches, right? And then let's cut it at one and oh, 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 two inches. And then let's cut it at one and a quarter because it's easier than doing it the other way. So one and a quarter. And then that'll mean that this scrap is three quarters. Beautiful. So we reverse engineering it. Does that make sense? So then here, we've got a four inch square there. So we want to use this bit here. Don't look at the back. And we want to keep this bit because we want something light for tomorrow night. So we'll keep this piece here for tomorrow night, I think. So we're going to cut three and three quarters. Let's get this nice pretty bit. Let's get rid of that bit by three and three quarters. Have a look what's on the back of these. Oh, look. We've got that whole suitcase we could use and half a letter. Mm, maybe not. So we've got that bit there. But what we need to do is bring some of this business to this business. 
So what have we got left? Just wait for a roll over things. Sometimes you've just got to overcome and conquer. So we've got a chunk of that. Sorry it's strobing. Just saw it in my peripheral vision. So is that three and three quarters? Three and a half. Looks like it's right. And then and then let's do a three and a quarter of this. So this has got the words going across. So let's do three and a quarter inches. And then let's have a look at what we look like. On the back. I've got a um box of Pereira or a shared stash under there. I'll have to move them now. It's out there in the public eye. Out there in the public where my, I've got my box of Pereira or a shared stash. Um, so this lilac timber piece is, well, let's just make that two inches. That was a dodgy measurement what that was. So let's make it two, two inches by three and a half, which it is. Yeah. See, it was dodgy. So let's have a look what we're going to put on here. We can put a feather, that's pretty. Different colour, mm, not a fan. Oh, that's pretty. That's everyone's suggestion. It's wrong colour though. Let's see if we can make the feather work. your mum reads. Key to a happy life in the Red Shaw's opinion is reading. Sorry, we don't read but we read. I think we need to paint our word, don't we? I had another hydrangea here. What do you think of that? And you know, I have this bad habit of keeping things for the next class. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, before we go too far, Let's fix my mistakes and then paint that. That letter's the wrong colour. Okay. So, this one back here didn't need to be scored. Alright. So, we're going to rub our foam folder across. Probably a good idea to show you how to fix mistakes. I have a mud map somewhere here on my desk for this. Yep, I definitely do. Mud map tell me what to do. See, I don't look at the mud map. Actually, no, the mud map was missing, missing a piece of detail. I think I assumed that I would remember. And then we're going to stick a piece of he this here to reinforce this. And then we'll stick something on the inside. 
Nope. Now I kept that for tomorrow night's class. But we could definitely, yep, let's do that. So let's go back. So I can see a tiny bit, right? I can see this tiny bit here. So let's even it up so it's straight, the tiny bit that we can see. Let's put a little tiny pencil mark. And let's shave that bit off. Yep. I would prefer the back to be shorter than the front, than be longer than the front. I don't like to see the back of the card. Yep. Yep. Front's longer. That's better. I feel better now. So then let's cut a piece of this that is two, let's go one and three quarter wide. Five, and remembering this is five inches, it's just short of five inches. And let's go just short of five and three quarter, uh, four and three quarters. So let's just go just short like that. Let's see if that gives us an even distance. That's pretty good. So then it's I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the middle out of this. So I'm gonna get my other trimmer and you could use a craft knife and a ruler and or rule it up with a pencil and then cut it out i'm going to cut a one inch frame so the one inch marks here so these marks on your trimmer so that's an inch from where it cuts and that's an inch from where it cuts that's four inches from where it cuts so instead of going like this you're better to go like this to get good balance and then you've got a straighter piece so i'm going to cut a one inch frame so i'm not going to cut right to the end I'm going to stop an inch from each end. So this was a ten and a half by ten and a half inch piece. Because um, I'm trying to keep something for tomorrow night. Because I want this to be my pop colour tomorrow night, I think. And you know what? If I don't use it tomorrow night, you all know where my shop is to come and lynch me because I'm there more than I'm at home. Even though I'm at home right now. Take a little bit out. So we've got something to use for a pot tomorrow night. I still need to get a class out of this. So then let's do let's straighten this up. Let's just straighten it up. And let's cut a three and three quarter. Let's measure it first. So this is like just short of four by four. So that's still three and three quarter by three and three quarter. Right, get rid of that. And then we've got this piece of white. You know, I could have started again and cut another one, but I wasn't gonna. So let's do a three and a half by three and a half, but let's not butcher the whole piece to do that. So let's go. Let's work out where three and a half inches in on here, is on here. So it's down here. So here. Let's put my finger there. So let's go around the three and a half mark. Take it out. Turn it over. By three and a half. Here we go. 
Um, a lopper chopper gives you a better finish. Other trimmers will give you a bit of a funny finish on one edge. So you could cut it slightly bigger. If your trimmer gives you a fuzzy or a weirdness on the edge, on the back, just cut it slightly bigger and then trim it down. So then that'll go there. There's our other bit. That'll go there. That'll give this strength. What we might do is we might give it a little bit more strength. We're going to give it a bit of help. So one of these little scrappy pieces, this little scrappy piece, let's hack off like a three quarter inch by inch and a half piece. And we'll stick that there. And then we put that over the top. It's going to give it really good strength. So let's close the card. And then we've got this bit. So this is what I do is I get all my bits together. Okay. I think we need the feather. Like that. So I don't have things protruding outside the boundaries of the card, but you can have them inside. So... Let's paint our love word gold. What do we think of gold? Does gold sound nice? I better have a look at the comments. They're probably all yelling at me in the comments. I've probably done something wrong again. Um, oh, hello, Quentin. How are you? Don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, Marlene, it's really funny. Just had Hare Krishna's Balmy up now. Glenn 20 in the shop. Oh dear. Sorry if you're um sorry if you find that offensive. Uh, we do get some strange people come in the shop. Oh, they think that because you're there you're a um a captive audience. You're not an audience. You're just people trapped. Come on, focus. 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 Come on just trying to get it to focus that's focused there we go oh I think it's my iPad that's not focusing maybe it's my iPad's in the wrong point of view for my glasses maybe I need new glasses um that was what I was thinking gold I think gold and then if we add a little bit of um, metallic -y gold to our to these things as well, Ooh, maybe a flowers. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> maybe that's too much. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm gonna have to just do a rummage over on the trolley for a small brush because remember I've come back from Brisbane with this one. So she's left me with this one, this one, and oh no, one of the others is quite the other brush. Yep, I need to buy paintbrushes today at work. Oh look, here's a paintbrush. It's dodgy. It's not meant to be dodgy, it's a Liquitex, it's not cheap. It's being kidified, but that's on stage. Or at least I'm fine. I'm not going to try that colour because that's um, still been pleasant. Please got to that one. So, oh, do I just use gold paint? No, let's just use like gold paint. Let's put that over there to dry. Yep. yep, yep, indecisive. But you've got no baby wipes, you know. I'm nearly out of water. So you just don't squeeze it too hard, but you just give a little bit of pressure on it and swirl it around and you get a nice sort of flat, <clears throat> a little bit of paint on your spot. Okay. Yep. 
I'm having one of those days. Lucky I always have water with me. I want it sort of watery. I don't want it too goopy. I just want it nice and soft. Let's have a look. I just want to put a little bit of metallic gold on our key. And we don't want it all the same strength. So I am picking up a little bit of solid paint every now and then so that I've got bits that are solid and bits that are just worry we want it to be sort of not we don't want it to be all the same yep I like that don't play with it too much it's gonna go to pulp put it on now seal I've got it a bit thick there and where there's like the yellowiness on here and a couple of the light places I'm just gonna flick a bit of that just here and there on the leaves like that. I don't know if that's going to focus. Mm, not really. And if you haven't, oh, geez, that's a bit thick. Let's put that on there. Um, if you haven't noticed, these hydrangeas are the same bouquet but in different sizes, and that's what I do. I try and give you the same thing in multiple sizes. So I've got too much paint, I've got too much water, but that's okay. I think we're going to layer this up. I think that would be the best thing to do, is to put it on in layers. You know, some of it's thicker, some of it's thinner. We'll see. And on the light part of the feather, let's just put a little bit of gold on the light portions you know the portions of the feather that are a bit lighter okay we all have those yep has a bad day Don't get it on the plastic because plastic melts and it smells bad when it melts. Remember paper burns. Now if I left that bow in that, that key it would actually dry in that shape. So if you want to shape something that's what you do is you wet it or dampen it but don't soak it till it's pulled. And then, like, you can lay it over, like, lay the paper over a shape and then heat dry it as long as this thing that the shape is is not plastic because that's naff. It smells bad and it's dangerous. Um, it will dry in that shape. Like, it'll take that shape and be quite stiff. So interesting concept when you're making embellishments. So when you put your colour on your bits, oh gosh, I've just got gold paint on my card base. When you um, get cut, put like paint details like this, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yep, it all went on my card. 
honestly, I am having a bad day. Maybe I should just stay at home the rest of the day. Clinton did say to me, maybe I should stay at home the rest of the day and work from home. <laughs> Maybe I should. It's nearly dry. Okay, let's put that in that, in that. No, no, that's not quite dry. I lost all the water, just about. Really having a bad day here, people. Let's see how this turns out. See, I started the class organised. I had a little bit of an idea on what I wanted to do, like the shape. And then I had, you know... There's a link to the kit at the top of the post. There's a link to Runaway Princess. There's a link to the album. I've got all that created ready for tomorrow night's class so I don't have to, you know, rush when I have dinner tomorrow night with the kids. So I can, you know. Okay. I have to wash that after class because that's acrylic paint. I probably should just... Acrylic paint, so acrylic is plastic, acrylic paint is plastic. Oh, oh, that's good, that's really big kit of fire. That's been left in it. So that's what happens when you leave them in a tub of water. They lose their hairs. The hairs go all discombobulated like that and the ferrule comes off. So this is the ferrule. So this is, and it's not spelt ferrule like F-E-R-A-L, like the kids next door. Um... It's felt slightly different, but it's feral. So the feral actually has come off this because it's been left in a tub of water, and that's why these are splayed because it's been left in a tub of water to dry. Not by me. So let's put this up here for the moment. All right. don't want to overcook it because it does burn. Paper burns. That's not dry. Right I'm just going to get a dry baby wipe because they filled with all my baby wipes as well. Let's give this a dry now. To dry. Okay, we've got all our pieces. So these two go together. These two go together on this one. Let's turn it around so the light side's showing. Uh, these two go together. We're making sure our writing goes the right way. This one's on the inside and this one's wet. This is going to go under it, and that's going to be the last thing we stick on because I've filled it. And then this goes along down the front, and making sure the writing's the right way up on each of our pieces. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, I think because I've heated this now, it's not going to be perfect. Let's de-stress. Might help me de-stress. So we are going to cut the middle out of some of these pieces, but before we do that, we're actually going to distress it because once we um, cut the middle out on little tiny pieces, it's a bit of a bugger to distress. 
they become a bit mm, difficult. But when you've got a piece like this that I've wet and had to heat, um, distressing it actually does help. It sort of hides the anomalies in the size and the distortion on the heating. Oh, everyone's gone cold. You're just all shocked at how bad my day is. There's only 10 of you watching and one, two, three on YouTube. Is what it is. I can hear Madeline's bells. Am I? See, what I could write on this card is I moved heaven and earth to actually get this card finished because I was having a bad day. <laughs> Amelia Ann's hairbrush was missing this morning. It wasn't her fault, but... Because um, it wasn't her fault that she didn't put it away when she was told to put it away yesterday. Drive you nuts, kids. I found it on the desk attached to a bed. She is on notice because she's um, made a mess of the desk. So I'm going to really have to get in there and create some systems for her to, yeah. Use it. So when Noah had it, he had an awesome system. He had little drawers with his bits and pieces in, and then he had some little containers. And he 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 had a very good system when he had it. And then he had his favourite books, draw like his favourite drawing books and art journal and that on his little desk. It's not the desk, it's the length of the bed. Okay. It's currently covered in Lego and something else. She's got a plan for something. She's drawing up a plan for something she's going to build. Oh, and a movie, movie script. She's got a movie script because she's doing a little bit of a movie. Apparently. In the circus but her key performers or her key performer missy um doesn't want to be part of the show doesn't matter how many times you make missy you you, you leap missy over the um obstacle missy does not do it of her own volition there is no way missy wants to be part of the show We'll distress that one. I'm going to stick it on when it's dry later. <laughs> okay. So let's cut the middle out of our bits that need the middle cut out of them. Let's cut the middle out of this one. Um, I do find with a card like this, a side step card, that if I don't cut the middle out of things and alleviate some of the weight, because I have this tendency to load them up. So let's look. We need a wide bit here and a narrow bit there. I do have a tendency to load them up. I find that they go flat too easily if I don't, yeah light them up. Now this is Alpine white cardstock so this is quite heavy um, 280 GSM and it is a decent 280 um, I'm going to say it really needs to be so I'm going to work out where I need to cut let's poke a hole there I 
um, you do need a decent card stock. Like you couldn't make this base with Kaiser card. As good as Kaiser card is for a lot of things, like currently colour range and availability, um, kind of, not on every colour. Not every colour is available all the time. Um, I could probably cut another piece of that, hey? Um, it's not good for making things like this. I don't want to cover that. And then this will go up the front here. Should we ink it? Should we ink it? I'm sorry if I'm taking too long. Gold. Cherry. I probably should have put the tape on the back of it all first, but it's okay. So I'm going to ink it. So I'm using cherry. i tell you what other colour would look really nice is eggplant or purple. Uh, navy would even look nice, the navy colour. Um, maybe not the blue purple because it's a bit too disparate. Um, you could even use like turquoise. You pick one colour that's in it or hot pink, one colour that's in your card, and you ink everything but one colour. Now, I don't always ink my fussy cuts. Sometimes it gets too messy. Now, I'm being very careful with this one. I'm going to shove it over there. It's white. It's my, it's my nemesis, the white piece to write on. It really is, because when I'm inking, I'm trying not to get it all over my fingers. Trying an R, a twin dog, different things. Oh, I do have a public announcement, actually. Um, so if you did card making at a home-based business that's near where I live, um, in Clinton, Karen unfortunately passed away last week. Um, I've only met Karen, I think, twice ever. Um... She wasn't a cut, but well, she'd only shopped in my store, I think, once. Um, so she wasn't um, a customer, but she did have a home based um, card making class business near my home. So um, she did pass away last week, unfortunately. So um, I think there's a service this week, but it's on Valley Funerals um, Facebook page. Um, if you did classes there. I don't know if the family have notified everyone that did classes there in the past. So I'm doing the letter and I'm going to put a tiny bit just here and there on my feather. And so remember that I said the letter and the feather were not colours in the rest of it. This actually helps them to become part of it. And then just the tips of my flowers and it makes them pop. I like this colour. Um, I really want eggplant, but it's similar to cherry, so I'm just going to live with having one of the two. I, you don't need everything that opens and shuts to be a crafter. So I just kind of put a tiny touch here and there on my love so it doesn't look like it's just a painted love from something else and, and I just didn't. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. And let's put a tiny bit here and there on our key, just to make our key part of it. Not too much on the key, because remember the key is going to sit on top of hot pink. Okay, let's clean our fingers, because we don't want to wreck it. I'm going to do that one later. It's still a bit there. I'm going to do that very last. <sighs> Guaranteed I'm going to forget to ink it. 
Right yeah. So let's oh we forgot this one. So notice how I did a section of the card at a time. So I did this section and then I've done this section and then I've done my fussy cuts and I forgot to do this one. And I did this inner section. So let's put that there. So I've done them in sections. So then I can stick the section together knowing that it's had more time to dry together. Let's see how it So let's stick these two together and then let's put them on. They're going to have the key on them. Let's put them on foam. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Um, how does she fit in school? <laughs> She's fine. Kitties have a mind of their own. They like to do things on their own terms. Oh, yep. It's always on their own terms. Yeah, she does well at school. She she fits in socially. Um, she, um, she has some good friends. She has a manipulative friend. But that's, you know, that's um, not too bad. We'll keep that in check. She just has a, this other little girl has a very bold personality. But she has some really nice friends. So like some, they're a mm, group of smart little kids, actually. They're real smart chickens. They're going to um, change the world. I like that school's about their individual gifts and talents. So some of the kids are sporty and some of them are creative and some of them like love to read and and they all get to um, excel at their, you know, whatever their gift and talent is. So making sure the words are the right way up. Oh, I like that. And making sure it sort of goes straight down the middle. Oh, that's bent. How's that? Okay, now let's stick this bit together. But um, Amelia has slept a whole lot better since she went into the loft bed. Um, so the first night she got up, and Naomi was in the room with her. Okay, so which way did the writing go? Make sure the writing's the right, right way up. Um, and then, like, I think it was more just talking to Naomi. And then she's, yep, yeah, she slept through. She's actually slept a lot better. I think it was, I think it's that being enclosed and so close to the ceiling in a loft bed. That's meant she's, um, yeah, she's just felt nice and enclosed. Right, so I actually feel that we might need to, look at it in the card before we stick these on. Does that make sense? Because you're not going to see it all because of the stepper mechanism. Let's stick this on. I think we might need something.
so we did sell out of the kit from on the weekend but if you want one um if you could message the store don't leave a comment on a video because we could really miss that um but if you message the store what we'll do is we will i think we need to stick something on here we will um put your name down for when they arrive when more of the paper pads it's the paper pad and we had heaps of paper pads but then everyone was buying them once i announced what i was doing for the class people started buying the paper pads and they kind of bought us almost out of them oh yeah and then let's still a bit damp let's just keep going so Let's stick our piece here on. Probably not such a bad thing I've made that mistake at this point in time because it means that we can, yeah, it, it helps to lay this flat. So then let's stick this piece in here. I have made one of these out of um, Kaiser Craft cardstock before. Look, I've got a bit of ink there. And what I actually did was I covered this back piece here um, to give it a bit more oomph. But then mm, you're running the risk that it's going to go flat because it's, yeah, but you don't want this to bow. Just making sure the writing's the right way up. And I do sometimes cover this one, but we're not. I don't know. We might cover it in a minute. Still coming off. Mm. We might. We'll put that aside. We might cover that. Okay. So sitting that like that. We want some things to sort of sit down below, but we really want to see our love word and the majority of our feather and our flowers. So our flowers are going to have to sort of sit there. Okay. But we do want a little corner to go there. So let's stick this on. A little tiny bit of foam behind these flowers this is the smaller flowers because we're going to put the bigger ones here and then let's put a little tiny bit of foam behind our feather So to put this here, so we're going to put the foam on here. I should just cut a bigger piece. So I have a bit of glue for security and slippage. So just so we can slide this around. We don't want to go, we can't go below this bottom point of the card. Don't want them facing the same way as that one. And so the glue gives us a bit of slide around. Okay, so let's use our tweezers and put some glue on the back of our 
it's just dimensional magic in an applicator bottle so um, let's put a little bit of that on the back of our letters I do forget that new people watch the videos I do I do have a bad habit of forgetting that new people watch the videos all the time but then I think oh geez after you know 600 plus videos some of you have watched nearly all the videos do you really want me to say the same thing over and over again this is dimensional magic in an applicator bottle you know my name's Elisa do you really want to hear me say the same things over and over again sorry I'm waffling now I have got a customer that um, said she doesn't like the waffle right yeah let's distress this piece made an awful mess Oh my gosh, I, I'm so happy. Um, I haven't had a chance to get them printed yet, but I'm so happy with something that I designed yesterday for a treat. Um, it's a product that's been on the drawing board for years. I'm just going to say it's been there for years and years, and it did take me a bit to get it to nut out a couple of the. Um, so, this is our little piece because we're not meant to have a crease here um, to nut out some of the issues let's just call them issues let's leave that sit there and ink this I actually think the blue is going to look better at the bottom so I think the blue at the bottom or the blue at the top I think the blue at the bottom looks better sticking this on while it's still inky bit of a no-no um yeah I yeah but sometimes you've got to wait until you nut out some of the um Oh, issues, no. Some of the finer details on how you're going to achieve something. But I now have a bit of a backbone for it. Although I don't think I need another one. I think it might just be a single standalone thing. But I am going to make plenty of them so that we've got some for the store. Because oh, I think it's going to be handy. You know that handy word. Oh, look, I've got ink there. Let's see if we can erase it. No, oh, it's partly gone. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not as obvious. And let's stick something on here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because then I've got to paint it and ink it. That's better. Okay, it needs something in there because I've got ink on there now. So this is already three and three quarters. No, yeah, it's already three and three quarters and we need it to be three quarters of an inch wide. So that's a bit of a bugger. I could have reverse engineered it but I'm going. So we're going to put tape on the back of this and then we're going to distress it and ink it. And stick it on with wet ink. That's a bit naughty. We might distress it, ink it, and then we might heat set the ink. Because it's pigment ink, it takes time to dry. Pigment ink um, is wet for longer, and that's why it's really good for um, embossing. So um, 
using embossing powder or embossing crystals depending on where you are in the world so um, um, yeah Sharon put in a request my friend Sharon put in a request for Copic coloring because she's been doing a bit of she's been watching some videos on Copic coloring so um, I was helping you the other day in the store with skin what to do for skin tone So it is National Scrapbooking Day this weekend. So uh, we had some stuff planned and then I said to Quentin, well, we did a weekend, big weekend last weekend. Why don't we do another one? So we've got, we've got some stuff planned, but we also are going to do a Saturday night class. So Friday night I am using the Known for the Holidays paper number three, the one with the... Um, Oh no, there is, oh, there are, look how wide, there are baby wipes in there, they just, there's just two, um, two, um, I'm going to use paper number three that's got the little animals on it, so I'm going to try and make a little scene and have the little animals and make some flowers. Now, Leslie requested the five petal flowers I did once before, but I thought maybe we'll do something different and do some different flowers, or we might do those. But we'll make some flowers and we'll make a little bit of a scene on our on a page. And that's with those little animals. Because Amelia wants me has been begging me to do a page just with the little animals for a while. There we go. So um and then Saturday night we're doing I'm gonna do your Swan Princess. So those two were mini ones that were that were actually manufactured in the one run but released a couple of weeks apart. Um so we're going to do um, Swan Princess, but with Swan Princess, what I'm going to do is, look, I've got ink everywhere now. That's why I don't ink things. And see, if I was making this as a Mother's Day card, as a gift, I would sit these inked things aside for an hour or two before I stuck them in the card because this is why I don't ink for card making because I get little bits of ink everywhere. Um, but what I thought we would do, and I know it's National or International Scrapbooking Day, but what I thought we might do is do a little bit of a cardy booky thing that's an alternative to a card or a mini book. And then that's how it sits, like that. And then, see, I've got ink everywhere. See, that's why I don't ink for card making normally. Um, but I thought I would do it because it's nice. It does look nice. It makes it look really good. But I, I just get ink everywhere because I have this much time to do something that should take this much time. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like... Um, I don't know. I used to do a class on school holidays um, and we used to do them and we used to call them snail mailers. So it's sort of like that snail maily mini booky cardy thing, something that's a bit different. Um, and it's got lots of little pockets and lots of little um, bits and bobs. We have actually made a Christmas mini book that was similar once before uh, with... Um, Scrap Boys, maybe, or Lemon Craft, mm, something. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And then we'll have lots of things on, on Saturday. I've got to talk to Quentin about when we would fit in a Copic colouring class. And it would only be doing skin tones. And I've got this stamp sitting on my desk. So it's a Couture Creations one. So it would only be... Um, how to do skin because that would take long enough but that's what Sharon wants me to do is how to do skin uh, sometimes I find myself answering you <laughs> thank you Molly that's pretty cool <laughs> uh, thank you Beryl thank you Kathy <laughs> uh, I have to go on replay okay Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Tanya. 
beautiful. I have had to design a layout for another group for National Scrapbooking Day. I managed to get in completed. Didn't think I would be able to achieve it. We were given a sketch to follow. Oh, well, that's sketch is sort of a starting point, isn't it, Marie? I don't know if that's out of focus or it's because my I think it's my eyes. I think it's the wrong distance the iPad is from my eyes because it looks in focus on the other two screens because they're big enough for my focal point. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, Marie. But, yeah, so that's what we're going to do on the weekend. Just keep an eye on the group. We're going to, yeah, we've got some little things going on. Only little things. Um, and I think that's about it. So we made a card. Um, use it as a mother. Well, it's a Mother's Day card. It doesn't say mum. But, you know, can I say something? Mums come in all sorts of forms. Thank you, Tash. Mums come in all sorts of forms. So my kids go to school with children whose mum is their dad. They don't have a mum or they don't have a dad or, you know, um, they might have two dads or they might have two mums or they might have, th you know, they might have two dads and two mums or, you know, grandma is their mum um, or they live with their auntie or they live with an older sibling. So... You love the person that's your mum and your mum might not be the mum that gave birth to you, but, you know, everybody has someone that's mum or multiple people that's mum. So, you know, this is for that person. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to say mum, it, you know, to be a Mother's Day card, but I think, yeah, Mother's Day is good to celebrate you know, the mum that, that brought your life. But there's lots of different mums, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different kinds of mums. So there we go. Thank you very much for coming along. We'll see you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. We have got a little bit of stuff left. Yep. I have done all my fussy cutting, and, yes, like I said, I fussy cut the right stuff. So we've got a bit left. Let's pop the white under here so it doesn't make the white strobe. And, yeah, so, so far I think I've achieved making One Ray Princess not so dark, but I did use a piece of Dreamland paper to achieve it. But, yeah, so we'll see you. Oh, thank you, Quentin. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. So um, I will see you all tomorrow night at 7 or beforehand in the groups. Don't forget if you're doing the Cottage Garden Hybrid Retreat, the extra goodies are there to pre-order. Um, if you live locally, sorry, but you can't just come in and shop those items. We do need to just keep the system structured where you order them in the group, we invoice you, you pay for them, and then you either collect them or we post them. It just, It's just too big of an event. Like retreats are just a massive thing. And we're packing so many different types of kits. We've got virtual retreat virtual retreat with bonus we've got in-store retreat so we've just got so many different things going on with it that we just really need to have one system for the extra goodies thank you debbie um thank you marlene and um we will see you all tomorrow night so thank you very much i've been saying goodbye for 10 minutes now um love you all take care stay safe and thank you so very 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 much bye